Mm. <clears throat> Good morning, everybody. Um, it is a beautiful day. No hat right now, but that's okay. I'll have a hat on later. Uh, it's going to be a good day. I got my coffee. It's iced coffee because you know how I be. Anyway, uh, so it's truly the month of the water feature um, for us right now. It's June. We built, we did a waterfall rebuild earlier the, this month. We did two fountains last week. Uh, yesterday, we started another waterfall rebuild. Uh, also yesterday, another crew started a little pondless, a six-foot pondless. It has a pretty cool peripheral a uh, little dry creek bed and then we're gonna aim to have the waterfall rebuild that we're working on we started yesterday we're gonna aim to have that done tomorrow um so let me flip you around here show you what we're working with out here so there's the uh men at work i hate that i can't play that song in my youtube videos because copyright infringement but um so here's kind of the peripheral dry creek bed it's gonna start up there right underneath that maple come down we're gonna have a little landing rock as a step between the two lawns uh, kind of come down here and it's gonna cross under the concrete over to the basin here so this is where our aqua basin 45 will sit holds about 100 gallons of water so that's plenty for our little six foot stream but by the end of the day this pile of dirt is going to look like a beautiful waterfall straight out of the cascade mountains we're gonna have a pretty productive day be a little sweet another one day we'll build so well we're taking off for the day um somebody picked that rocks that were too big but anyway um we're gonna come back tomorrow and we're gonna get this thing taken care of and then the day after that for finishing touches we'll have it done by thursday and it's gonna be awesome it's gonna be about six feet long and uh we can see probably from the basin about 20 inches so it's gonna be cool uh, so over here then um this is finally uh this area is shaped um there's tools in there because we're taking off for the day but um basically we got a nice swale oh, swale going in here um we're gonna put some landing steps going across to bridge the gap between the two lawns uh and then it's gonna be a dry creek bed uh we're gonna put some river gravel in there some larger stuff and it's just gonna kind of make this match up with that it's gonna be a cool integrated feature um we're all about designing landscapes so we're designing it good morning everybody so that out there now that the cloud coverage is gone it's not seattle it's edmonds but still just as cool anyway so i'll show you where we left yesterday this is kind of day two and a half um but uh we have our basin in the ground and the pipe pumped into the basin our pump is down under and this is the irrigation line for the drip that we're going to reinstall here is the mound of dirt that we have to work with and half of a little retention wall for our soil um, this might get kicked out so we have a little bit more room to work with here but um, eventually our pipe is going to get kind of run through somewhere around there uh, and that's a two inch flex pvc which is what we use on a lot of our builds it's nice and flexible so we're not worried about you know hard 90s or 45s in our trenches and making things perfect there's some of the rock that we brought in today that's a lot more manageable um, it'll fit this size of the build a little bit better too because it's kind of smaller kind of cute little water feature so um yeah and then over here is our dry creek bed uh, we're gonna have our landing go across here and some rockery with maybe some extra high cascade ground in there Here's a tread that we're gonna go with. We have two of these that are gonna go, gonna go side by side. The flat Columbian or uh, Cascade Granite Rock that we picked out was just kind of uneven. Not a good selection right now. Um, Morrison Gravel said that they have like a thousand visits a week, which is really crazy. So they're pretty busy, but we're gonna get started here. Um, I'll check back in with you guys here in a little bit once we start throwing uh, throwing some stuff together.
What's up everybody? This is Adam Goit, Brookside Landscape and Design, and we are out here building one of our Babbling Brook uh, Pondless Waterfall packages. So I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about the process that we use for building our waterfalls. So I'm gonna flip you around. Um, so with the Babbling Brook package, we build this on an aqua basin, because um, what we're talking about doing here is we're building a short stream. So this is something that's gonna be three to five feet in length, um, you know, probably no more than two to three foot elevation change, anything bigger than that. And we're not going to have enough water capacity to keep this thing running. Cause we typically want two to two and a half times water storage in our basin to what is in motion while we're building the waterfall. So what I wanted to show you here is how we're kind of starting to construct this waterfall. It doesn't look like a whole lot right now. Just kind of looks like some stacked rocks, but what we're doing here is we're shaping in shelves. Like, so our first shelf here um, is the basin so we're building right on the basin we're actually right on the edge we want that because we want the water to look like it's kind of trickling down into here cut our first shelf cut our second shelf and now we're cutting our third shelf on the sides we've got our frame rocks right so you've got this really interesting frame rock here another frame frame rock right here and that's what we call our spillway rock um, for our construction, when we build waterfalls, we don't need the spillway rock to be some massive spillway to get the desired effect that we want. Typically, we'll just find something small, interesting, and we just do a lot of different things every time. So we've got frame rock, frame rock, frame rock, frame rock, spillway rock, spillway rock. When this is all said and done, obviously, you're not going to see any liner. You're not going to see any felt. It's going to look very natural. And then we're going to create another drop there with a little bit of stream. And then right up in there, we're going to put our spillway. So... We're gonna keep rocking, keep setting, start doing some foaming, and then get into that final 10%, that last, that last 10% that's gonna make this thing pop. All right, so I cheated a little bit today. Um, just a little bit of custom fabrication of our parts. Um, so we normally install uh, waterfall spillways for pondless waterfalls. I mean, really, that's all we do. Um, but sometimes they're a little bit too big. So Aquascape actually came out with a uh, the the original spillway is a 22 inch spillway, and they came out this year with a 12 inch spillway. So it's narrower uh, left to right. But hey. Uh, um, the one thing we wanted to do that, uh, here because we wanted to squeeze a little bit more stream out and kind of shrink it up a little bit. So I actually went ahead and I cut off a little bit there just to make it narrower, but we're still gonna get some nice water dispersion. That's just gonna help hide this guy. Uh, and then there's our bulkhead fitting. So we're gonna get our pipe plumbed into that and uh, then we'll be ready for water. Still got a little bit more rock to put in, but we're, we're getting to the top here. All right, our framing rocks are in, our spillway rocks are in. Next step here is foaming. So you can see uh, up here, this is just solid dirt. So the goal here is to make the liner do most of the work. Uh, foam, it's not 100% at keeping water out. So we backfill the rocks as much as we can with dirt um, because the liner is the only thing that's gonna keep the water in. So right now what Adam's doing is he's just going around, he's filling up all the little cracks with a bit of foam. Uh, not too much because then it boils out and just kind of creates a weird black blob. But uh, he's just going to basically go through and seam up all these joints. And uh, once this foam sets, probably about half hour to 45 minutes here, we'll get this thing kicking. See if our foam job did what we needed it to. If it doesn't, then we go through, basically identify all the problems, re-foam, wait another 30 minutes, kick it back on. It's, it's usually the second time when we get it right. But anyway... Um, so that's what we're doing. We'll have water running soon. You can see the item out there in his natural environment. Oh, let's see if I can get closer. He's out foraging. But what's he looking for? You know, the wild Adam typically looks for moss to put on his water features to make them look more natural. But uh, today, he might be looking for something else. Hopefully he doesn't spot me. Oh, I've been spotted. 
So, what was that about? Um, you can see the moss I got from earlier. Uh, basically, this looks really cool. This looks really cool. It's uh, some nice high cascade granite. Um, yeah, I threw some dirt at it and some rock, whatever. It's a little dirty, whatever. It looks really cool. What really makes a job look good is the, uh, the last 10% of a job. Um, it's the finishing touches, the accents. So what that moss is gonna do, and then we're gonna use some of this creeping jenny we pulled out. Um, it adds just like this crazy pop of green to otherwise kind of brown rock. Um, and it's like I said, it's all about the last 10%. All right guys, we are finally wrapped up now out here in beautiful Indianola, Washington. Um, let me turn you around here. You can probably hear the waterfall, but I'm gonna get to that because I know you guys are gonna stick around for it. Um, here is the dry creek bed and the little stone bridge. How that worked out, see that? They come up here, it's just a nice little decorative creek bed that terminates, or well, starts up in this uh, maple, comes down. And the idea here is that it looks like it's speeding the uh, pond that we built. Here's that. So what we have here, this is our flowing brook. Earlier in the video, Adam says babbling brook. You know, we're like, oh, I think it's called the babbling brook. That sounds good, let's call it that. Um, this is our flowing brook. It's about six feet long here. Um, but we have our first drop. It is a uh, kind of a tumble there. And then a sheet. And it kind of transitions up into this river looking stream thing here. Um, yeah, and then there's our spillway up there. So if you can't see it, that's the idea. Don't want to see the spillway because it's a weird plastic shape. But anyway, we uh, got some creeping jenny, forest grass, procosmia, uh, and then the moss. I went and found another piece of moss. Um, really weird. I couldn't find any moss out there, but it's like Washington State, I'm right next to the water. There's only like three pieces of moss out there that I could grab. Um, and then a rockery. You can see one light down there, that's the little spotlight. There's another one there, and another one there. So, this thing's gonna be kicking at night. Don't worry about the kind of cloudiness, that'll clear up. That's just rock dust that was stuck on the rocks, and then it got washed into the water. No big deal, it'll settle out. Um, so yeah, super exciting build out here. Uh, it took us, I mean, if we just went at it, this is a two-day build. So two-day, three or four guys, kind of depends on the uh, site conditions and accessibility, weather, etc. Um, yeah, it's always fun. I love building water features. It's, everyone's different. And when you step back from everyone, you're like, I think I'm gonna do that differently next time. Not that it's bad, it's just like, it's weird processing all the information at the one time. You step back and you see how the water interacts with everything. Um, and there's always something I love about water features. Like I really love how in this area, well really in these two falls, it's not just like one falls, you have like this cool cascading effect um, across each falls. Uh, and then the way that the stream turned out up there, it just looks nice. And I mean, there's a little bit of turbulence, but it's just nice flowing water. Um, yeah, there's a little bit of sound up there, but it's not really a whole lot. Um, so yeah, it seems to look real cool at night when those lights finally come on. So anyway, that's it for this one. Um, I think the month of water features is just about ended. I know it's July 1st, so technically it's next month, but uh, we started this one in June, so until next time. So stay tuned uh, for more videos. Uh, if you like this one and you wanna see more, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. And when you hit the subscribe button, there's a little bell notification. You tap that bell and you will get notifications every time we post a new video. Uh, go ahead and comment on this video down what you thought the coolest part of this build was. Um, I don't care if it was the construction or you really like that stream or if the coolest part about it is that you want us to come build one. Go ahead, drop a, drop a like and a comment. Let us know what's up. Anyway, see you guys later.